Hello, my amazing artists. Today we are going to create a wacky weather umbrella. I love this project. It is so much fun and it is awesome to create using math. The following materials you will need for this lesson are white paper, a pencil, crayons or markers, and optional scissors, glue, and aluminum foil. You will really only need crayons and a white piece of paper for this lesson. I would also suggest having some markers for our optional crayon resist for our raindrops. Step one, I'm going to turn a rectangle into a square. So my copy paper is a vertical rectangle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on its side and now it's a horizontal rectangle. I am going to fold almost to the corner with my left corner. So watch how I do this. I fold up, place my finger on the left corner on the top and do you see how it lines up see how the left side lines up with the top what that's going to do is it's going to create a triangle I'm going to fold down and now I have a triangle and a little bit of space on the right side now that little bit of space is the extra space of the rectangle. So I'm going to cut on that line because I just want a triangle. Make sure you're cutting away from you and ask an adult if you need help. Now I have a triangle, but when I have two triangles together, it creates a diamond or a square because a square is just a diamond on its side. Now I'm going to see again my diamond shape. I'm going to use my diamond shape for this lesson because that's going to be the top of my umbrella. Step two, I'm going to use with a pencil but I'm going to show you with a crayon. I'm going to create the umbrella using lines. So I'm going to find the middle and the right and the left side of my umbrella. I need five dots. One, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to make those dots. One, two, three, four, and Five. Now remember, you can pause at any time to complete your dots or any part of the lesson. So now I have six different spaces in between those dots. I'm going to add a dot on the top because my dots are going to connect. As you can see, I have lines that go up and bumpy lines on the bottom, attaching those lines, vertical lines that go up. And that's how I'm going to create my umbrella. So first, we're going to connect our dots starting at the end. So the corner of the page, I'm going to make a bumpy line and boop, attach that next bumpy line boop, and keep going. Boop, And one more all the way to the end of the paper. So now I have these bumpy lines for the bottom of my umbrella. So the middle I'm going to make a straight vertical line to the top dot all the way up. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Mine isn't. Next a diagonal line all the way up. And I'm going to keep attaching all of those lines to the top of the umbrella. I can even guide my finger first to help to see where to go. 
It's okay if you make a mistake. Now, my red's a little small, but I have one, two, three, four, five, and six spaces. I'm going to create a rainbow inside of these six spaces. I need to make the handlebar for my umbrella before I start coloring, and I'm gonna use the letter J. I'm going to start in the left middle section, and I'm gonna make a little baby J for the handle. Next to Baby J is Mama J. So in the next section, I'm going to make a big Mama J that goes under and around Baby J. Then I'm going to connect their feet together, and now I have a handle for my umbrella so I can hold it. I like to go back and outline all of my lines and make them a thicker line so I can see my lines better when I color. So you can go ahead and do that now. Now that my lines are darkened and I have my colors for the rainbow, let's go over the rainbow colors. The colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple, or a fancy way to say purple is violet. You're going to use six colors of the rainbow and not use indigo for our umbrella because we only have six spaces, not seven. I am going to start with my first color, which is red. So I'm gonna start coloring with my red marker. I'm going to make sure I color in my space to the best of my ability. That is called craftsmanship. Now I'm going to move on to orange, and when I color, I like to color in straight lines with my marker at an angle. Now coloring in yellow to the best of my ability. Please take your time. Ms. Z is on fast mode, so that you do not have to wait to watch Ms. Z color in all of her amazing colors. You can pause and make sure that you color in your umbrella to the best of your ability. My goal is to make sure I don't see any white on my background. Now, I'm gonna color in my umbrella handle. I'm going to make a wooden umbrella. I'm gonna outline and then color inside with my crayon. You can make your umbrella handle any color you want, maybe even have some patterns in it. I just love rainbows. So I'm going to add a rainbow also in my background. I'm going to make a upside down U and I'm gonna start with my first color, red. I'm gonna continue using all of my rainbow colors like I just did. Did you know when a rainbow is formed, it is formed after it rains. And because when the rain drops down, the sun is also shining and shines through the little water droplets. This creates a prism which shines the rainbow colors onto the sky. Did you also know everybody sees a rainbow differently because of the position they are in and how they are seeing the rain droplets and where the sun is? I just think that's amazing. This next step is optional, but you can add secret raindrops. We are going to create a watercolor resist with markers. So do you see how these little raindrops are showing? What I'm going to do is you're not gonna see it yet, so please trust me on this one. 
I am going to make little raindrops in my white space because, did you know, art is magic? I am going to turn these little raindrops that are hidden into white raindrops using a blue marker. I'm going to add a lot of raindrops and I can even add some little swirly lines for the wind. And then I am going to get a marker and I am going to color on top of my raindrops and look! That is called a wax resist because the crayons have wax in them and the markers kind of act like paint. And when I color on top of them, that is the magic of art. How fun is that? That's probably my most favorite part of this lesson is that reveal of those awesome raindrops. Now you have to do the raindrops before the marker because you cannot color on top of the marker with the right crayon. You could, but it won't really show that well. Okay, my last step, I'm just going to outline some lines like I always do. I think that outlining different shapes right now, I'm just outlining with a darker marker than my background, helps to really make my artwork pop off the page. You do not have to do this part, but it's definitely a good thing to do if you are a practicing artist. Part is an optional extension for the lesson, and if you do not have aluminum foil, scissors, or glue, that is okay. So for this part of the lesson, I'm going to cut out different little droplets for my raindrop shine on my umbrella. So what I need is aluminum foil, just a little piece, scissors, and glue. And I do suggest that you ask an adult to help you if you are having trouble cutting out your little raindrops. They're not very easy. The aluminum foil isn't very easy to cut. I only need a little square, so that's as much as aluminum foil as I need. I do not need a lot. So I have six different colors, and I'm going to make six different raindrops for my six different colors. So first, I'm going to cut out those raindrops. It's going to be hard to see, but bear with me. I am going to make a teardrop shape. It's okay if it's not perfect. Raindrops are all different kinds of shapes. So I'm just gonna make a teardrop shape. It's a little hard to see on the camera. And then I'm going to cut it out. Be very careful with your fingers when you cut out your teardrop. It's kind of just like a half circle curvy line. So be very careful and try your best when cutting out your raindrop. I'm gonna place it on my red. Then I'm gonna continue orange yellow, green, blue, and purple. Now I'm going to glue them on. I want to glue them on so they look like they're dropping, so I don't want them all in the same space. I'm gonna make some higher, some lower, onto my umbrella, and these six are on my umbrella. I want to have a nice balance in my artwork. So on the bottom half, I want six more rain droplets. So six plus six equals 12. I'm gonna have 12 raindrops on my artwork. And this time my raindrops are going to be under my umbrella, which creates an awesome sense of balance in my artwork. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to glue down my raindrops. And some of them might come off the page, I think that's so fun. Some of them might go all the way down the page, but still next to their first raindrop. So I have two under blue, two under purple, green, yellow, orange, and red. And it looks awesome! Has a nice sense of balance, has beautiful color, and is ready for my wacky weather. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as I did. We learned so much about rainbows and shapes and lines, and I really hope that you enjoyed it.